findings in the report stood out for you yesterday? Well, uh, so much in that report uh, resonated with me um, and there were many things that I picked out at first reading, but actually Nuala Rolone's uh, introductory remarks um, that she found significant and unlawful interactions between the media and the police um, and the report itself saying that there was evidence suggesting very strongly that News UK employees' interference in the murder case was orchestrated to discredit the investigation and in fact arranged with one of the suspects in the case um, and that links between personnel at the highest levels of the Met and people working for a news organisation linked to criminality associated with the murder of Daniel Morgan are of serious and legitimate public concern. Um, now, these are really shocking statements to make. Um, and I personally have felt, felt validated that I've been actually trying to raise these issues for so long. What happened to those News UK employees believed to have interfered in the case? Well, um, as far as I'm aware, very little. I mean, it was raised with Rebecca Brooks at the highest levels um, of News UK or News International, it was then in, in the presence of the Commission of the Metropolitan Police at the time. Uh, and in fact, nothing happened. There were two news editors, a reporter, photographer involved in all that. Um, and the last thing I heard was that in fact, one of those news editors was actually promoted afterwards. Does corruption of this kind go on? Well, I think the report stating that the press and police linkages were used in an illegal trade in confidential information, much of it, you know, police information by private investigators to the media is extremely worrying. And the, the fact that so much was made of the Met's first objective being to protect itself and its reputation, I think we need to have much more transparency around that in order to increase um, the public's faith in that institution. You know, if we can't, as like me as an individual or any member of the public, turn to the police, if we can't turn to the press, or indeed trust politicians not to be compromised by their relationships with the press, where can we go? We need faith in these public institutions. And I think so much more needs to be done to actually um, increase that faith. Do you think a panel inquiry was sufficient to tackle this? Um, and if not, why? Well, I think certainly the panel did an amazing job with the, with the tools that they had. I mean, they couldn't compel people to give evidence um, like a public inquiry could, and that's exactly what we should have had. And in fact, the Morgan family only agreed to having a panel of inquiry so that um, because they thought all these issues would, would be dealt with it in part two of the Leveson inquiry, which was a statutory inquiry and could have gathered evidence um, more than eight years ago, which is what the length of time we've had to wait for this report. But we are where we are at the moment. And um, whilst we'll still campaign for part two of that inquiry to take place, it's important to recognize that key questions haven't been answered. Why was Daniel murdered? Why was the police investigation subject to cover up and corruption? How far did the corruption extend and who is involved? And what role, if any, was played by the press in the cover up and the corruption? And those questions still need to be answered more fully. And I think only part two of the Leveson inquiry would be able to do that. So what would you like to see happen now? I think it would be hugely important if politicians woke up and recognise the damage that is being done um, to public trust in their um, relationships with news uh, press organisations and the murkiness around that. And I think it's important that they show that they work for the public and not for press barons. And the way they can do that is by 
accepting that we do need part two of the Leveson inquiry, however uncomfortable that may be for some politicians and for some senior police officers and for the press. Unless we have that, you know, um, where do pub the public go, as I've already said, where do you go to get truth and transparency and faith in absolute basic institutions which are pillars of our society?